and I'm going to quote you here, that Trump's meltdown actually makes Biden more powerful. Just dive into that uh, for us a little bit. Sure. Two things. The first is what we were talking about before the riots at the Capitol, which is uh, Democrats winning those two Senate races in Georgia and uh, obtaining control of the Senate. It's a very narrow majority to have just one vote with the tiebreaker from the vice president, but it is a majority nonetheless. So that is a dramatic change in the prospects for uh, Biden's ability to get cabinet members appointed. Uh, he can pr pretty much get anybody he wants appointed now. Uh, and then the type of legislation he's gonna be able to get through. He, he's not gonna be able to do whatever he wants because there are still some conservative Democrats and then there's the issue of the filibuster. So there will be limits. But it does really change what Biden can get through. And now, with what happened yesterday and everything Hunter Walker was just describing, uh, the political uh, consequences of this are that Trump has basically shattered his own political power. Uh, and, you know, Hunter mentioned we're seeing Trump's own allies start to break with him. Mitch McConnell has essentially disowned him. Mike Pence has essentially disowned him. And the effect of this in Congress is that Republicans will no longer have to show fealty to Donald Trump uh, as they are going about um, dealing with legislation. Um, you know, Trump is now, he's so far outside the mainstream that he's not going to be the political power broker on the Republican side that he might have been had this gone better and, and, he, uh, and had he left office in a more dignified way. So, um, we're, we're, so we have seen the complete uh, disintegration of the Republican Party into two groups. Uh, one is what you might call the traditional Republicans, the Reagan, the institutionalist Republicans. That's Mitch McConnell and some of the other leadership. And then you've got Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley and basically the rump uh, Trumpers, I guess you might call them. And uh, this is going to be easier for Democrats to get some Republican allies on modest or moderate legislation that they might not otherwise be able to get if Republicans still had to show this fealty test to Trump. So uh, this is a seismic shift uh, just in the last three days in what we're likely to expect out of Congress during the next two years.